Hey, how y'all doing? This is Darren Parton here. Uh, just gonna be showing y'all how to make a little piece of history that you can keep forever and just make it as pretty as you want to. So, I'm gonna turn this thing around here so we can see what we're dealing with here. Right, I've got a piece of wood cut. Well, I've got it marked at 20 inches. Got it marked at 20 inches. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. That way y'all can see what the finished product looks like. Now the main important thing to worry about is safety. Now, unless you know a lot about carpenter work, I'm sure a bunch of you don't, but you always want to have your sleeves rolled up. That way you don't get hung on nothing or nothing like that. So I'm going to show y'all how to do this. Set my saw here. Hang on just a minute. All right, I see the mark. I know you're wondering how come I'm using a circle saw, not using a circle saw, but using a table saw. Because, to be honest with you, this blade is a whole lot better than the one on the surface saw, so that's why I'm using this. Circle saw, you gotta be very careful. On table saw, you gotta be very careful. Because <clears throat> when you're pushing the wood through, when you're pushing the wood through like this right here, you gotta be very careful not to get your hands in the way. You always want to have them right here, and right over here. So back it up. I got a piece of wood here. You can see on the inside of it there, it's cedar. So, let me just turn this sucker around here. Let me take y'all over here. Now this is what we're gonna be working with. And all we're gonna be doing is, I've got a table router over here. We're gonna be using this piece of wood and yeah, it's got a knot in it right there, but that ain't no big deal. I'm just gonna be using this piece of wood to make a sign that says parting from here, from over here to over here. So, let me take y'all over here. Y'all can see my chicken coop I got built there. I'll show y'all that here in a minute. Excuse me, y'all, I've been kind of busy in here. Let's see how I can do this. All right, here is my table table router. Now, uh, you can see that little bit on it right there. That thing spins like that right there. That way, you can just run your wood across it like that right there and just get a very pretty edge to your wood. So, let me see if I can't figure out how to set this up. Okay, that should work. Let me bounce you out. Alright, let me plug this thing up and I'll show y'all how it works. <clears throat> you always want to have a good plan of what you're going to build before you even build it. So, it's very good to have a plan. I'm just going to warn y'all before I start this up, it's kind of loud. So don't let the noise get to you.
as y'all can see, it puts a very pretty, just real nice edge on your wood there. And on cedar, it's gonna have them little ridges like that on there, so you gotta be real careful not to uh, try to pull away from it. You always wanna go in the direction it's running. You always wanna go that way. So let me finish making this all edged up here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> show y'all what we're working with here. All right, well if I can get the camera held right, I'm probably making y'all dizzy. But now as you can see, we've got a real nice edge to it all the way around. Man, this makes it look even better on cedar. I mean, you don't ever know. All right, so now what I've got to do is I've got to draw my plan out. So let me turn this off real quick and I'll be right with you. Okay, so I'm back. And as y'all can see, I've got P-A-R-T-I-N wrote down on this piece of wood. All I'm going to be using this is that router right there. So I'm going to uh, see if I can't set this up somehow without getting y'all too bad dirty. Alright, that should... It should work like this, isn't it? Okay. So, let me go ahead and get started on this. And the uh, best thing I like about a router is, all you gotta do is just kinda set it up like this. y'all can see it's a real nice pretty pea and uh the thing i like about the router is no matter how bad you know you mess up you can always just go back and sand it up and just to make it look real nice and i like this edge especially because it just gives it a real good finishing touch so uh let me set y'all back down here that way i can get back at it Can y'all see me fine here? I know y'all can't see exactly what I'm doing on here, but I mean, hey, you gotta work with what you got. So I'm just gonna watch on this other side. I'm gonna take this clamp off, put it over here. That way I can just get a better. Well, I can get better. Alright, so. Let me get my other plant here. Oh, we have to paint down both sides. 
Make it a lot easier on myself. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but yeah, hang on just a minute. Plant both sides of this down. That way it'd be good and sturdy won't go nowhere. Let me get back to y'all here in just a few minutes when I get done with this. That way y'all can see what the finishing product looks like. It'll probably take me a little bit just to get this done. So, just give me a few minutes. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And, uh, as y'all can see, I had a little bit of trouble having a knot right there. But if anything, I think it just gives a more unique look to it. But as y'all can see, it, it turned out pretty good. I took a belt sander to it and I got done. So gives that real nice kind of smooth out cedar look. And if y'all know anything about the smell of cedar wood, it's about the best smell you ever smell. And just really to work with it, it's just about the best wood you can ever work with. Besides that knot, which I don't really think it hurts it much, but I think it gives it more of a kind of a unique look, kind of, I mean, you can still read it. But if anything, it just gives it a better, you know, rustic look, you know, been through the sawmill look, you know. But yeah, I mean, that's basic. That's basically all they are too about making signs. So, uh, you know. And of course, I had a little bit of trouble with that piece right there, but, you know, this wood's old, you know, it, been down here for quite a while so but yeah man that's all they are to making signs so if y'all want me to make you one if you if you can find a piece of wood that looks good to you that you want me to make you one i'll charge ten dollars per sign so just uh get in get in contact with me if you want me to make you one uh i hope y'all like this little video here and uh hope i didn't make y'all too dizzy with my and camera skills here, but hope y'all like this little video here, and uh, God bless you.